Hey, is that folk music that you play there? What is that? How do you call that folk music? <laughs> I think it was Studs Terkel who asked Big Bill Brunzi, did he consider his blues music to be folk music? And Big Bill says, well, uh, never heard no horse. <laughs>
Welcome. This is Horses Sing None of It, and I'm Sandy Riley, and you've been listening to the music of Loan and Navarro. We have Eric Loan with us. Hello. <laughs> we're shaking hands now. We're doing, we're doing the whole thing. Dave Navarro. Dan, Dan Navarro. Dan Navarro. Ah. Dave's the famous one. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Dave's the famous rich one, rich one with the And this really, is Carmen really, Electra really. right here um, <laughs> on, my, on my right. Uh, Dave and Carmen, let's talk a little bit about the wedding. It was a big, quite a thing on MTV. <laughs> Okay, I, I'm done. I, I'm, okay, great. I think you've paid for great. your sin. Okay. I, I, you know what? <laughs> okay. You know, it I'll happens do it a lot. again and He's, again and again. At least we it's have... someone I love, you know, it's because of, my cousin's a great guy. And I love Carmen Electra, so it's all good. Okay, good. <laughs> this is Phil Parlapiano. Yes, it is. Uh, and what other instrument could he possibly play? <laughs> yeah, he parlors the piano. He, he does. He does very well. He's playing on every one of your albums. It means speak softly in Italian. You know. I, okay. No, that's French. So don't know. I'll accept one, no, actually. It's, he, Italian. He, it's Italian. I don't know why you didn't play on, on Well, the piano. piano. Was, I think you, was out of town. You were out of town with Rod. That's right. That's right. <laughs> uh, Phil has played with a lot of people. He's played with uh, Rod Stewart, Tracy Chapman, uh, Grant Lee Buffalo. Um, God, uh, John Prine for many, many Forever. years. John Prine. And, um, has and he been had a his own band called the Brothers Figaro. And they still come out of hiding every once in a while. We as Lowen and Navarro and their fiercest competitors do everything we can to beat them back into submission, you know, and then they go away for a while and they come back to haunt us. He looks like the violent type, doesn't he? I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh, just kidding. We love those guys. Thank you. Well, now who have you played with? Uh, I played <laughs> not with that Dan you're not enough. I, I played with Dan Navarro. <laughs> That's right. Not Dave? Yeah. Not Dave. <laughs> okay. Actually, I played with Dave. Sure. Eric and I were the first guys to ever record Dave, actually, when he was 14 years old. We recorded him in his first band. Uh, with Steve Perkins from from Jane's Addiction on drums, and you know, I mean, it's a family thing, so so we had a lot of fun with that. Now we played with, um, you know, we've shared the stage with people like, uh, I mean, we never played in anybody else's bands, um, but uh, we've shared the stage no, with Jackson Brown that. and Jennifer Warrens and the Bodines, many, many, many times with the Bodines, the Subdudes. Um, oh gosh, who else? Jacko Pierce. Jacko Pierce. Um, You've sung with Jennifer Warrens. I've sung with Jennifer Warrens, uh, Peter Case, Dave Alvin. Um, you know shared the stage with a lot of these guys, a lot of them, Rosie Flores, people who become our, who have become our friends. Uh, we did a show with Trout Fishing in America, which was really pretty fun because um, Ezra's a lot taller than Eric and Keith's a lot shorter than me, so we did it in height order. <laughs> it took a good picture. It was good. Great. And um, people from Bonnie Raitt's band and from the Tower of Power Horns and uh, you know, Skunk Baxter from Steely Dan. Uh, you know, if you, if a career in music in Los Angeles means that you're going to get to know people after a while. It's just sort of, a, sort of what happens. I feel like you'd go on with that forever, too. Well, you list. try. I mean, it gets pretty list, disjointed yeah. after a while. It does get to be a long list, but it also, there's a lot of people we haven't played with, a lot of people we don't know. Um, you just, you know, you bash out a career as best you can, and you work wherever the work is, and, and you end up crossing paths. If you stick around, you end up crossing paths. You know, it's just, it's the nature of the beast. With your kind permission, we'd like to be uh, the Phil Parlapiano band yes. right now. Will you? Yes, I, I would right. love to hear more. We'd love to have Phil play one of his own songs. Great. Set it up, Phil. Oh, set it up? You mean talk about it? Yeah, <laughs> that's kind of hoping. There's a song from my new record called Piano Forte on the PBR label. It's called Thanks for the Insight. Let's set up enough. That's good. That's Two, good. three, four. Yeah. 
cheek till you find a source of enlightenment. Be who you are, so near yet so far. On the road, the obstacles help you see your destination. We love his work. I mean, we've done, like like Eric said, we've known Phil about 15 years and, and um, have been, you know, friends of his music. He's been a friend of ours. I mean, we were technically competitors, but it's not about beating anybody. It's really just about you want what you want for yourself, and it's not about other people's failure. And we love their band. His old partner, Bill Bonk, is somebody that we're good friends with as well. We see, we see Phil more often because he plays with us and Bill doesn't, but, but um, you know, it's a, it's, a nice, it's a nice community. It really feels yes, it good. is. We've enjoyed it. We've enjoyed our collaboration in many ways over the years. Phil's played on, on most of our records, except when he's been uh, too busy playing with other people when, when we happen to be recording. Uh, but we always make it a point to include him. And he co-wrote the next song we're going to do, actually. Um, he and I wrote the, this next one that we're going to do together. Um, we got together one afternoon just to see what would happen, and um, in about two hours, bashed out this song that's on the new album, and it's been a real favorite of everybody's over the last couple of years we've been playing it. Okay, great, let me hear it. It's called Raining in My Eyes. It's been pouring for 20 days. 20 more is a deluge. How long will it carry on? Well, I can't say. Maybe I should build a boat and gather everyone two by two, all except me and you, cause that don't play. Cause every time I think that there's gonna be a change someday, 
gets washed away. Ain't no sun up in the sky. Cause it's raining, raining in my eyes. Those dark clouds, they follow me inside. Cause it's raining, raining in my eyes. No peace in the whiskey, no quiet in a broken heart. How long until the healing starts and the pain all goes away? Well, I batten down the hatches and wait until the storm is past. God, how long is it going to last? But God will see. Every time I think that there's gonna be a change someday It gets washed away Ain't no sun up in the sky Cause it's raining, raining in my eyes Those dark clouds, they follow me jump in and sing with that. <laughs> just go for it's, it. It's, well, go for uh, it. We're just standing there. Come on. You got nothing else to do. <laughs> this is your show. Now, this is this, our stuff is designed to have people sing along with. That's and why it's primarily two parts. So you can add a third part. Instantly. Yeah, absolutely. Fantastic. We work with we're gonna, we work with rudimentary harmonies, <laughs> believe me. And real rock sensibilities. And yeah, I mean this one certainly I would say that it was inspired by like we were writing in the style of, but I know that when we play it, Phil and I both commented when we were writing it that it certainly felt like a long lost Richard Manuel tune and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. You know, that's just something that, that you know just fills it full of the juju that we love, you know, to 
to have it feel like something that we understand. It's not copied after one of the songs or not even close, but it certainly feels like that spirit runs through it and that makes me real happy. Tell me about some of your main influences. God, Jack man. Daniels was a big one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, terrible. Billy person. Daniels. Billy Daniels, um, Billy Bob Daniels. Yeah, uh, and, no, uh, I, actually, uh, yeah. you know, Dan and I, and I have always made uh, reference to the fact that, at, you know, my, my dad was a Baptist minister, and so uh, church music, you know, especially yeah. gospel music, was a big influence on me. And uh, Dan comes from a... I, I, my father was a, was a boxing promoter when I was very little, and, um, you know, it comes from a sort of an urban, um, urban popular sense, but I'm of an age group where, you know, I grew up on Frank Sinatra records, I grew up on big band jazz, I grew um, up in Ray Charles. Uh, Spanish, Spanish music, you know, Latin, uh, Mexican music, like crazy. And the two of us, and I, say, I dare say the three of us, because I know, you know Phil's classically trained, and we talk music in the van, and it's, you know, we, we have real strong similarities in what we got into, but um, American Top 40 popular radio that doesn't exist anymore, that, that was a big part of it. Absolutely, yeah. You know what, I, I really wish you were here for another three hours with me, because uh, the time has gone so fast, we have less than three minutes left. And which is really killing me. We'll but please walk. play another Let's song because I shouldn't talk. Let's you should play. I'm sorry, rap. Is what uh, this rap? is Lowen yeah, and Navarro. Uh, get them at the wire at Lowen, uh, L O W N A V dot com. Please. Carmen. You can contact them there. <laughs> Carmen Electra, that is I for this evening. I don't know if that's a good thing. <laughs> Let's hear it. We're happy to be here. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. to make their dreams come true They may be meaning in another's face For me the answer is here with you No pretty face, no promise of the moon Could tear us apart Somehow you threw a rope around my eye And captured my heart Ooh, yeah. I'm tied to you, caught up and down to me I'm wrapped in you. I'm tied to you, caught up and proud to be with you. I'm wrapped in you. Here we go, Phil. There never was a question in my mind, no doubt to leave behind when you came to me. I saw my future in a different light. Just like a jewel that shines all around me No pretty face or promise of the moon Could tear us apart So now you threw a rope around my light And captured my heart Ooh, yeah I'm tied to you, caught up and bound to be with you I'm wrapped in you I'm tied to you, caught up and bound to be to make their dreams come true It doesn't matter how much time goes by How many tears we cry I found my truth in you No pretty face or promise of the moon Could tear us apart So now you threw a rope around my night And captured my heart Ooh, yeah I'm tied to you, caught up and bound to I'm tied to you, caught up and bound to be with you. I'm wrapped in you. I'm tied to you, caught up and bound to be with you. I'm wrapped in you. I'm wrapped in you.
now I was given a mis uh, um, signal that was giving us less minute than we have. We have one minute. Can you guys play for me? Um, uh, if you love me like that. Sure. Let's do it. <laughs> Give us a minute. It's Lowen and Navarro. It's going to take a minute to get it set Catch up. Catch around by you, uh, the wire at lowennav.com. Yes. Lowen, Lowen, at uh, Eric Lowen, <laughs> Dan Navarro, Carmen and Lecha. Bill Parlapiano. Bill Parlapiano. Oh. 